Hey beautiful people, I'm Asana and a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I know, I know, I know it's been a while. I know, I'm sorry I disappeared again. But I am here, I'm back, I'm back you guys. The girl was so burnt out, I was actually so, so burnt out you guys. As you guys saw in my previous video, I had an internship with Amazon, which is really great. It was a lot of work. And um, on top of that, I had exams as well. So in January, I had two exams. And child, so I'd be working during the day, studying at night, studying on weekends, because I had to make sure like, I passed these exams. So it was really a lot, and I didn't really have a lot of time and I couldn't really make a lot of time to be on my YouTube and be more active on my, my TikTok as well like I usually am but I'm back now, I'm finally done with all of that, I'm back and, and, and I'm so excited to bring you guys more informative tech videos, self-improvement videos and vlogs that's what this channel is all about, okay? and so I just want to say thank you so much for the growth on this channel while I was gone you guys have just reached over 700 subscribers I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for the growth. I love that we're reaching more people and, and I'm so excited for all I'm still, for everything I'm still gonna be doing on this channel. Okay, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, just a quick intro for those who don't know me. I'm a Sana. I love to call myself a tech babe because I really love tech, okay? I love coding, I love anything that has to do with computers, okay? I'm 21 and I just finished uh, my degree in uh, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Business Computing from the University of Cape Town, okay? Other than that, I'm a really optimistic person. I love sharing self-improvement tips, um, uh, motivational quotes, all those kind of things because they help me as well. Like Because I think my optimism and faith really, really drives me. And um, I love vlogging as well because I actually enjoy editing videos as well. Um, teaching myself how to I'm teaching myself how to do that so you guys will see um, my editing improve as time goes on okay so yeah it's basically the gist of this channel and on this channel I just want to share more of myself and man I aspire to inspire I feel like the tech space is still very much new in South Africa and, the, and there aren't too many women in this space yet in my opinion like, even in my computer science class I can literally count how many girls there were um, we, we did not even make up 20% on the class literally so i just want to share more information about the tech space because trust me it's about to blow up if it isn't blowing up already and it's really an amazing space especially for the kind of world we live in today like we're really in a digital age and if you know how to code it's going to be really beneficial for you but other than that it's also, it's actually also really fun it's a great career to get into but i'm not here to talk about that today look at me going at a tangent i was just giving my two cents on that okay but today as you can tell from the title of this video um, I'm going to be talking about ways in which you can get tech internships in uh, 2023, like this year. Let's get the bag, okay? Um, this was a very highly requested video, especially after my previous video where, where I vlogged myself doing my work as an intern. Of course, it sparked interest as to how I landed my internship. And a few people have been asking me in my DMs as well. And I was like, let me just make a proper video on how I can actually source um, these kind of internships, especially in South Africa. Because tech babes do not gatekeep, okay? We want everyone in the industry. Like, listen, really not a little more industry. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to open it also too, but yes, we're putting it in the industry, okay? So, yeah, um, so yeah, without wasting any more time, let me get right into it, okay? Okay, so I'm going to start with the first way, and this is how I got my first internship with the big tech company, and that is through recruitment bursaries, okay? I don't think a lot of people know about these, but basically when I applied for university, um, I needed a bursary, um, and I already knew um, I definitely wanted to be a software engineer when I graduated. So I made sure to look for for bursaries um, with tech companies, because I knew that then I would be very likely to be employed with them after. So I researched a lot about what um, tech companies offer bursaries to students and, and I was very much interested in the big four of course like um, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, um, Facebook at the time, now Meta, um, Apple. So I applied and applied and applied and I was fortunate enough to receive a recruitment bursary from Amazon. So Amazon funded my studies okay and the, because the bursary was a recruitment bursary it was not just to fund 
but but also to be able to recruit you to be able to work for them okay so i've actually been with amazon since 2020 and then 2021 my second year of university that's when i did my first internship with them uh, which which was really nice um, because I got to get exposed to the industry while studying right and then last year um, um, carrying on to the beginning of this year that was my uh, second internship with them and that's basically how I got it they were strict of course um you know you have to you have to perform really well they also still review your performance even while you're interning so they're very big on like you know performance and quality okay but yeah that's basically how I got mine so if you're a student um, I really recommend that you apply for that they don't just take first years like even if you're in your third year even if you're going to your honors year whatever like you can apply for rec a recruitment bursary and it's and it's a very good opportunity because you don't only you, you receive not only funding but you have the opportunity to receive an internship with them as well I'll put a link to the website you can apply on um, and I'll find other tech um, companies that recruit as well and put the link there and put the link right below as well <music> Okay, so the second place that you can find tech internships or jobs as well is Offer Zen. Shout, shout out to one of my friends who actually plugged me with this place. I actually didn't know it until like earlier on this year. This is what the website looks like. I'll also link it in the description below. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, but it's been really good because it helped me land an interview. Um, so Offer Zen is basically like a job marketplace where companies literally go and look for developers, okay? And the nice thing about it is that there's support as well like you get a personal recruiter who actually work with you and help you find the right company for you like my recruiter as well her name is nash and like she's so nice okay like she's literally helped me like she they, they give you interview tips they'll tell you how you can like they'll tell you like how you can optimize your profile to make sure you're found etc so it's a really good space to and it's free like so you literally go where it says find a dev job create an account um you'll have to um fill in stuff like what um you're, you're currently doing are you studying do you have a degree like what qualifications you have your skills um whatever programming languages etc your motivation and then you get to write about what actually interests you what i like about offers is that like it's about you what do you want because they want to match you with what you like you know so it's a really great place to be noticed by tech companies and like literally weekly daily the companies there are hundreds if not thousands of companies um looking for people there so it's literally as easy as creating the account and make sure like and, and take the time to create that account uh, make sure that you write a good motivation as to who you are and what inspires you and what kind of work you're looking for and what skills you have and how you'd be of value you know and that actually reminds me of a tip that i'd really love to share like take the time on your resume like your resume is literally supposed to sell you okay like um one thing i learned about um um, resumes and that's because I got a free resume review from this company um from, from this company I forgot the name but I'll definitely link it in the description I sent through my resume and they literally told me oh you need to improve on this like you're underselling yourself like mention what value you brought and what value you can bring etc like, so don't let your resume be boring and just be a paper of fact like it should really sell you and so i'd highly recommend that you um that you consult with that company they literally bring it back within a day or two and they'll tell you like how you can fix up your resume okay moving right along to the third way in which you can find tech internship opportunities or even jobs definitely linkedin okay and i know this one is common but i was surprised to see a lot of people saying like that they will see like how linkedin helps them like and i just feel like maybe some people are using linkedin wrong like um i've had a few people reach out to me on linkedin and i've also found a lot of opportunities on linkedin as well that, that i applied to so number one if you're a student or you're in the tech space and you're not on linkedin you are missing out you're really setting yourself a back because number one recruiters are there Recruiters are also on LinkedIn looking for people to hire. Uh, it literally puts you out there. Uh, make sure your profile looks good, okay? Um, I have a link to my profile um, in my on my socials, but I'll also just link it below. Make sure you have a clear profile picture. I actually want to um, update mine because it's a good 
quality photo but it's not a professional photo i actually want to take a good headshot okay she doesn't even mean business okay like i want to do that so by the time you guys um see this video i'm probably gonna have a different profile picture to the one i have now but yeah like make sure your profile looks good highlight all your skills okay if you go to my profile you see everything is there everything i've achieved in my uni years is there even till my trick like i'll put everything there okay like um one thing you need to remember is that you bring the value, okay? Like, I remember um, watching this video and someone said, like, remember, you're not just out here begging as though you've got nothing to give, okay? So, so definitely sell yourself well, okay? But yeah, LinkedIn literally has a tab called jobs where you can literally search for jobs. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen now, but it's literally at the top. And I think on mobile, it's at the bottom of the screen i'm not too sure but it's like it's very clear it's there's actually written jobs you just click on it search uh, you can even specify where you're looking for the job or if um you want um a remote job okay and use keywords such as in intern software developer intern or software developer graduate program or um junior software developer um or you can you can even go specific like into the language you're comfortable with you could say python internships python junior developer python like oh, i can't think of all the keywords right now but i'll mention i'll put them all in the description as well um and one thing i love about linkedin is that you can make connections like literally so like look for recruiters uh look at that won't you look at that literally i was just browsing and there's literally a kpmg internship that's open right now there's a page called scholarships corner um follow them um look for pages to follow that like have that are always posting opportunities as well try to search for stuff like internships recruiters scholarships because they'll literally always be plugging you like but i feel like i'm waffling number one create a linkedin account number two optimize make sure that you're setting yourself well that your profile picture is good you highlight all your skills all your achievements in your about make sure you really like um show your passion for the um uh, um the, for the industry and for what you do okay and what and where you want to go in the industry okay because the because the industry is big so it's really good if you like like find tune what really interests you and connect with recruiters as well like send them messages if you literally search for recruiter or tech recruiter there's literally a list here of people just try to connect with them send them a message tell them hey this is what i'm doing maybe i'm in a second year of study and any opportunities and this and this etc um like don't be afraid to put yourself out there okay um what else is there with linkedin yeah i feel like yeah i feel like that's about it but i think for me like the most useful aspect is definitely the jobs part because like jobs like literally all over i've had interviews with jobs from the uk like literally there's no limit <laughs> finally job placement websites um make sure to sign up for a lot of job placement websites um examples are job leads talent.com there's even a website called job placements glass door indeed um i'll put them all in the description i'm not i know i'm not even mentioning like a quarter of them there's so many i'm gonna i'm gonna put the ones i know and that is where companies list jobs and if you sign up and subscribe to those websites um they'll send you emails literally whenever a new job comes up i'm getting emails literally every single day okay like job they are jobs they are definitely jobs um, uh, um and the nice thing is that when you sign up with those websites obviously like you'll tailor it to what you want so if you're looking for internships search and make sure that you specify that you're looking for an internship um and not just job placement websites um if there's specific if there's a specific company you're really looking into go to that company's website chances are they have a tab called careers or jobs or something like that and and if you go and search there you could find that that's where you can find that that's where you can directly apply with the company like i know with amazon for instance they have a website called amazon.jobs where you can search um for internships and general jobs as well um take a lot um, um once again um i'll put the companies that i know of in the description like i really want this to be as helpful as possible so yeah um so yeah those are the ways i know that you can secure take internships sometimes though like guys you don't even need an internship to um secure ex to, to get experience you can even try freelancing um their website their websites i can't think of it at the top of my head right now but their websites where you can actually like um, make a profile where you freelance and basically like when people are looking for someone like maybe it's not an internship per se but they're looking for someone to do 
do a specific kind of job and you have the, those skills then they'll pay to do just to just do a specific project and what's nice about that is that they they usually not too strict about oh you need to have a degree or oh you need to as long as you have the skill like they trust you to have the skill so if you deliver the results you'll get paid okay so i'll also put links to those freelancing websites in the description box but i really hope this was somewhat informative and if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to um put them in the comments or dm me on instagram but i recommend the comments because i don't open my message requests too frequently but i'll always receive a direct notification of your comments okay but yeah if you've watched till this far thank you so much for watching and i really wish you all the best with your tech career you got this be optimistic um and go put yourself out there okay this is one big field with opportunities opening up every single day in my next video i think i'm going to be giving um tips for um computer science students especially first years looking back like on my university life like there's some things that i wish i could have done better and i think i want to be that big sister to tell you that hey like hey heads up do this do that so that's what i'm planning for my next video if there's any other information that you'd like me to share about the tech space let me know let me know i love sharing information and yeah bless I know you make me feel